So, how does Zacks use earnings estimates and earnings estimate revisions in the Zacks rank? The Zacks rank is calculated from four primary inputs. Agreement, magnitude, upside, and surprise. Agreement is the extent to which all earnings estimates are being revised in the same direction. The greater the percentage of estimates moving higher, the better the score will be for this component. For example, if 70% of the analyst estimates are increasing for a stock, whereas only 40% are increasing for another, the higher the percentage of upward revisions, the better. In this example, there are 12 estimate revisions, all moving higher in the last 60 days, and no estimates going down. This shows a 100% agreement amongst the analysts making estimate revisions, and they're all up. If, on the other hand, half were revising their estimates up and half down, that would mean 50% of the estimates were positive. Not much of an agreement. And if the majority of the revisions were down, that would show clear agreement, but to the downside, which means it would score poorly on this component. Magnitude is the size of the recent change in the current consensus estimate for the fiscal year and the next fiscal year. For example, a 5% increase in the consensus estimate is better than a 2% increase and will thus get a better score for this component. Seeing the analysts who cover these stocks for a living ratcheting their estimates up over and over again is a powerful indication of increasing earnings to come. On the other hand, if the consensus flits up and down, implying uncertainty and mixed views on the company's bottom line, it'll score poorly on this component. And if the consensus estimate trend is down, it'll score even worse. You can also see the consensus trend visually displayed in our pricing consensus chart. This lets you see at a glance which way the consensus is heading and the relationship between it and the stock price. So you want to look for stocks whose consensus is rising and preferably at a steeper angle than the period that preceded it. Upside is the difference between the most accurate estimate as calculated by Zacks and the consensus estimate. A positive difference between the most accurate estimate and the consensus is better than a negative one. And like the other factors, bigger is better. The difference doesn't have to be huge though, but it's a leading indication on the direction of the consensus. The surprise factor looks at the last few quarters of earnings surprises as well. Companies with a positive earnings surprise are more likely to surprise again in the future or miss again if recently missed. For this reason, looking at a company's recent surprise history can be a great aid in forecasting the surprise likelihood of their next outing. You can also see the surprise history by looking at the price and surprise chart, which uses red and green arrows to depict the company's surprises. A visual scan of the price and surprise chart can quickly orient you on a company's ability to surprise in the past and their likelihood of doing it again. Each one of these components is combined into a composite score and is recalculated every night. These scores are then compiled into the Zacks rank and are made available to investors every day, helping them beat the market. That's why Don T. of Sisters Oregon writes, recommendations have been spot on. Nine winners, up 35% already.